everybody, it's Dr. Nicole Frails here. Um, I'm with a newly diagnosed diabetic. Um, how long has this blister been here? Oh, let me see, about three weeks. About three weeks? Yeah, two weeks. So I pulled this off and I thought it just maybe stuck. It's this little kind of small band-aid. Do you recall what um, medicine you put on here? Um, the uh, Neosporin. Okay. And then I've used uh, the medicine that they use for tattoos. For tattoos. Okay. Like, uh, antibody. Okay. A and D cream. Yeah, you can tell I don't have any tattoos, so I'm like, I have no idea. I don't have no tattoos either. My daughter does, <laughs> yeah. and she recommended it. So, so um, this may be a little tender. What happened is, is where that band aid had just occluded the blister, and so he said that these blisters come and go. Was it a real small blister? Mm, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And so, I had some pickups here. Um, so, anyway. That blister was likely a uh, athlete's foot called vesicular tinea pedis. I'm gonna get some pickups. Let's hold on just a second. Okay, so here we go. Now I'll make this easier. So I wasn't expecting to find this after I removed that. And so back to the blister. How long have you been having those blisters? Oh, mercy. I've had them off and on for the past, I wanna say maybe a year and a half, two okay. years. So. But I mean, I've just doctored them and dropped doctored them and so, you know, myself. They, yeah. They'll leave, but they'll come back. So there's a cream that we're going to prescribe once we heal this ulcer called uh, Lotrazone. You're going to use it twice a day okay. for eight weeks. Okay. And that'll get rid of those. And plus, we can talk about spraying the shoes. Do you feel any of this? Mm -hmm. It's just it's kind of, you know, but uh, other than that, as far as pain, no. Okay, to the viewers at home, my assistant brought me these pickups. So where the skin's so wet, this isn't the best pickup for it. So before you guys comment that I'm using the wrong pickups, I know I am, and I'll do better next time. Um, but we're grabbing it nonetheless. It's working. So we will uh, likely just put some betadine on this, have him covered, of course. He's very active. He owns his own business, so he's really not thrilled that but it's very superficial there's no infection right. so we once we get this kind of um layer back too so we're just gonna do a betadine um nice thick gauze to pat it maybe even do an offloading uh silicone piece that you can reuse to keep the pressure off when you're standing because i know you, you have to go to work so we'll do our best to get the pressure off of it so and you can see here this is evidence of athlete's foot. So the kind that you were getting was called vesicular athlete's foot. So it looks like these little uh, bumps that are fluid filled. Is that it? Yeah. That's it. All right. So we'll make sure that we get rid of that, but let's focus on this. But he initially came in for this. <laughs> this has been here since October. And when he found out he was a diabetic, he, come, he came running here, which I'm thrilled. So what we're looking at here, what appears to be a pyogenic granuloma, even coming up underneath the nail. Because it's been here for so long, I'm gonna go ahead and send it to the lab just to make sure everything is uh, kosher, you know, no um, malignancy or anything like that, and it's completely benign. And then we'll go ahead, this was created from an ingrown toenail. Um, so we're gonna take care of the toenail. I'm gonna try to remove just that portion. We'll see how loose it is once we kind of get started, okay? The nail will come back, not the ingrown part, but the nail will come back. So I'm gonna put a little medicine on the roof so it does not return. Um, we did take x-rays, which were negative for osteomyelitis. So that's always something you can be concerned with if you have an ingrown toenail for a long period of time. Absolutely make sure you get x-rays because it can get into the bone. But I think all in all, you should have a pretty good outcome and I'm so glad you came in. All right guys, I'll see you in just a minute. All right, everybody, we are back. So this is what he was initially came in for and referred over by your primary care doctor. So let's see what we find. First thing I'm gonna do is just free up that edge. What a big old soft tissue mass. And you can see it's even coming in the bottom. So I'm definitely sending this to the lab. So it's either a massive pyogenic granuloma or some type of soft tissue mass growing. So always wanna rule out any type of malignancy. You felt that? No, I'm good. <laughs> Don't watch me. I told you how your brain's gonna trick you. 
Let's see here. Let me get this out of the way. So you can grab that jar for me. There's one. Ooh, big boy. Is it pressure or pain? It's, it's still a little like the steam. Do you, do you want me to put some more medicine in it? Almost done. Yep. Let's take a look. It looks really just like a bad granuloma. Now let's get that ingrown portion. So what happened was nails was so long. Did you try to trim this? Is that what you said you thought you maybe? So he went to trim it. So of course diabetic, little bit of numbness, not the best idea, but he knows he has first priority coming in now. We'll be prepared. Long. We'll see if I get everything in order. There we go. So let's. There you go. So yeah, it was going. You did. I could see where you clipped a bit, mm -hmm. but as it comes back into the root of the nail, the um, the matrix, mm -hmm. it's impossible to get back there. So it's already looking better. It's gonna go ahead and trim this long nail as well. Way. Make sure you get a good visual. Yeah, just getting that, uh, all that soft tissue out of the way is, looks a lot better. And you were able to get off work? No, the truck's still sitting in your way. So, <laughs> so I don't know how to manage that one. It was something already. Okay, good. No drainage. No prelent drainage, that yellow or green there is a little bit of odor to it and it could be just from all the soft tissue that's been sitting there make sure that edge doesn't come back so unfortunately he's not able to go home and get off of it despite begging him but wow. again he owns his own business yeah, <laughs> are you going to be able to wear that um, no. a, a bigger shoe or something? Yeah, Do you have something I, I, at home? Like okay. I said, my boots, my work boots are all that. So that's what I wear. Okay. I'm going to get you cleaned up. And then, well, guys, we'll definitely do a follow up to see. And this is going to bleed. So you're going to need more gauze than that. And you might want to double them up. It's going to bleed pretty bad. Mm hmm. Just because this is also vascular, it's a lot of blood flow. That's why it was growing. It hurts. It's got a little pain to it. You feel discomfort now? Yeah, it's got a little pain. I mean, little like a scale three. of one to ten, how bad? About a three. I can always well. The hard part's over. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we're almost done. So, uh, Christine, just sit here for a second. Make sure we don't get any bleeding. There's so always great to make sure you don't get any bleeding through on that. It'll be just one minute and mm -hmm. then we'll get you out, mm -hmm. okay? okay? All right, guys, thanks for watching. You'll see the follow up to see what that soft tissue mass is. And the moral of today's story is please come in and get things checked out as soon as possible. <laughs> He's like, mm hmm. All right, I'll see you next.